What is going on everyone? Commodore last here today brings you guys my live reaction to Jujutsu Kaisen Manga Chapter 125 now. The chapters finally come out. Shout out to the Viz of course for finding chapters week in week out because they're doing God's work as they should be. And ladies and gentlemen, my excitement is through the roof right now, okay? Not to mention for the fact that on Friday we're going to be getting the next episode of Jujutsu Kaisen and it's going to feature best girl, best heroine, best female MC in Jump, Nobara Kugisaki. I just found out that apparently we are going to be getting the next issue of Jump officially on Friday, five days from now. So what you're telling me is this. I'm not just going to get One Piece coming back, which has been sorely missed. I'm not just going to get the anime episode with Nobara. But if we continue on this trajectory right now of the greatness that's been going on with my girl, hopefully the flashback, hopefully she's safe. I know Mahito touched her and everything, but listen, bro, that's the best girl. You know, the, the cycle in the job, she's going to be fine. You're telling me I get double coverage on Friday? I'm telling you right now, I might overdose on the hype. So just this might be how it is, man. I have to accept that. And on top of Haikyuu the next uh, hour after, pff, it's a wrap for me, man. Like, you're, you're giving me all this greatness? You expect me to survive and be around? Like, you can't be doing this. So this Friday is going to be goaded, but I need to see what's going on this week because we're about to enter the flashback and stuff for Nobara. Uh, from what happened in her past and stuff in the village back in 09. I know some people are making similarities and stuff in regards to the village that she was a, that she's a part of that ghetto had attacked previously back in i believe it was 2007 i know there's some errors with the translation some people think this is the same village because in the scans it said this was in 2009 but in 2007 is when it actually happened with ghetto so the only thing i can say is that if it is the same village it could be something along the lines of like she was living through like the after effects of what transpired and if that is the case That'd be wild. And it makes me wonder exactly like how Sayori kind of involves herself in this. And she comes into the village afterwards. She's of older age based on the way, you know, her description was. And especially how the anime kind of, you know, teased some stuff as well. <sighs> but the time is now, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into it. So, chapter 125 with Jujutsu Kaisen. Here we go. Let me go single pages because I want to make sure we get all the details. All right. Let me zoom this in a little bit more. Play it safe. All right. Let's go. You're going to be using it until the sixth grade. Are you sure? That's what my mom said, but I wanted the light blue school backpack, a pastel colored one. I moved to this village at the same time I started elementary school. My parents were worried about the inconveniences of living in the country, but I was just sad that I had to say goodbye to my friends. 19 students in the entire school, not even enough for one class at a regular class, uh, school. Everyone had either a red or black backpack. I liked red and black. But most people don't seem to like light blue. Nobara, on the other hand. Hey, Fumi, your backpack. Let's trade. Oh, she's so precious back in the day, man. I can, Especially like the little tease of the anime. I love, she looks like she was younger and stuff, man. I cannot wait to see this stuff eventually when they animate it. Especially with how well the anime's been doing so far. Like, I have, I have high hopes. <clears throat> I had one in my backpack. Huh? Let's trade. You see a little sparkle on her face <laughs> and her little eye and everything. Is that hi? <laughs> Girl's like all sweaty. She had like white hair immediately. <laughs> Yo, listen, bro. It, like this school, I don't know why. It's reminding me a bit of Higurashi and one of the villages in Umineko, bro. If you're telling me that Gage is a fan of Ryukishi 07, then good lord, we're we're uh, I'm scared for what's to come. Chapter 125, a story about that girl. So we switched up from the Shibuya incident. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, it could be like we get this and then afterwards it switches right back to it. But, oh, Lord. Because you see right here, Nobara just chilling on top of like two kids. One of them looking like uh, George from uh, from Conan. Uh, it's the light, uh, skin, slimmer version of him. And then you see, I believe, the girl... From behind, and one of the teachers right there afterwards, as they're playing football, and she has like I believe I don't know if it's uh oh, it looks like jumping rope or something. So I thought it was a key for a second, like a like a thing, but no, it's just jumping rope. Best girl, man. I end up getting my backpack back after school. You know, I really don't like school backpacks. <laughs> She's just kicking it away. <laughs> after that day, the bar was stopped by my house all the time. Oh, it was the. Yeah. Interesting. I thought it was her own pops, and like her friend came, and it was like her sister. Okay, so the bar was chilling at someone. Okay, that's interesting. So I wonder. I gotta see now what the parents like. What the situation is. 
I started dating the bar would stop by my house all the time. We got really good at aerials. Yo, she's so precious, bro. <laughs> She's trying to get her up me up, man. I play Smash Brothers with my dad. No, Barra didn't like the people in the village since this village is really small. Is she having like one of those um Oh, what the hell is the name? The pop not pop is it poppy stick? The po um the what do you call it? The little chocolate thing that you have in Japan, the stick. I think it's it's a poppy stick. Whatever. The, it, it's a little thing. I, Cause I'm like, nah, she's not smoking. Like, come on, it's pop. No, it's having a poppy stick, I think. It's harder to be stranger here than to make friends. It's hard, it's hard to be a stranger here than to make friends. Isn't that a good thing? I thought to myself. Several years later, an old lady from the neighborhood brought red bean rice to celebrate my womanhood. At that moment, I think I understood what made Nobara feel so uncomfortable. I found a secret base. Nobara would say something mature. I'm gonna start living. I'm gonna live here. Start. I'm gonna live there starting today, but would then suddenly say stuff like this. Okay, so there's probably that was like the origins of like, you know, what's up in her head, maybe. Looking back now, I realize that someone influenced the way she spoke. Like maybe her mom. No. Is, is, ah, uh, this, if this is like after Sayori left. But no, but she joined the village. Sayori had to have come in at the same time or like a little bit after Nobara though. From what I remember, because she was, when, when the whole incident happened with Sayori, you remember, she was already affiliated with the village and stuff, and then she had left the both of them afterwards, well, at different times. So, I mean, it could be that, and then Sayori plays a role, but then it's weird because it's like, nah, there's got to be more to it, though. Here. When, when Nobara called a secret base was actually someone's house, you really, yo, it's her! Let's go! The origins of Sayori! Here we go! You really came. Welcome. It must have been cold on your way over. She looks good, man. Sayori was a girl who moved to the village after I did. So, which again, makes sense for what she said prior, because I was going to be like, that's a little weird. <clears throat> she never failed to welcome unexpected visits with a smile on her face. Now that I think about it, she was always at home. Nobara changed after meeting Sayori. How true, is that so? You sound like that TV personality, Matsuko. The way she spoke became softer. Fumi, can I practice braiding your hair again? How do I put it? Again. She became more refined. Sayori and I were both outsiders, <clears throat> but the difference between us couldn't be greater. But then things started to change at Sayori's house. For example, the place was vandalized with graffiti and trash. Snow was intentionally piled up in front. The beautiful house was left a shadow of its former self. Now, if it's the same thing that happened with the twins that Ghetto had basically saved and something was up with her, then I can see why they did this. And if it is the same village, then Jesus Christ. But then all those people were exterminated, so unless more people came in after the fact, or those who survived were dealing with basically the after effects of it, which would be a very... Sad thing to see in her state because it's like these people are judging her because they've been affected by something that Ghetto did. You know what I mean? Like, even though they were screwed up already in the head before then. But again, I think this might be, it could, it could be a different village though. But it's like, always want to keep that in the back of the head just in case. <clears throat> Soon after those incidents, Sayori moved out of the village. Nobara and I went there to say goodbye. But I can hardly remember who said what or even what the weather was like. All I remember, really, is Nobara's messy, crying face. Oh, man. I gotta get more details, though, because it's like, for her to be acting like this, though, she had to really, really, really care for Sayori, as was, it was teased early on in the series. <clears throat> so she does cry. I think I was, I was so surprised by the fact that I wasn't able to remember much else. June of this year. Nobara transferred to a high school in Tokyo. Apparently, she had to start school late because her grandma registered her, resisted her decision. All right. I won't ever be coming back here. Fumi, make sure you find a way out too. <clears throat> Man. Oh, Jesus. I know this is very minuscule in the way I'm thinking of this in terms of comparisons. But in a way, this is kind of reminding me, like, if Sayori was, like, Sabo being, like, taken out, and then it's, like, Nobara's being Ace and Fumi being, like, Luffy. I don't know why it just gives me that kind of similar 
vibe. Obviously, the, the connection isn't as deep because, again, this is very early on. But it's reminding me of that for some weird reason. Yeah. So she's not going to cry for me, huh? I could barely speak because of the guilt I felt for thinking something else so selfish. After that day, we never spoke about Sayori again. Fumi. Next time we see each other, let's make sure all three of us are there. Shout out back to tears. <laughs> Fumi, yeah, Fumi just not. I gotta let the waterworks go out too. But yeah, she was trying not to cry in front of her, but Fumi's just like, that. Nah, I have to, because that's my friend. Yeah, she might be sick in the head, but that's my friend. Yeah, yeah. What happened to her, bro? I mean, she looks like she has an office job, but bro. Sorry, how about taking a break? No can do. Proofs are due today. Well, I guess it's yesterday now. It's still today until morning. Bro, she, look, she looks like she went through a, a bad phase after the fact, though. Looks like stressed out. You can tell, obviously, she has like her her, her garb and stuff is a little bit different and everything, but... Uh, she looked like her, the light in her eyes is far different, man, than what we saw like in the uh, previous pages. She's talking crazy now. This sounds dangerous. Things sound dangerous in Shibuya. Maybe it's a... oh, this is current time. This is current time. He's like, huh? A pimple? And it's the unstoppable kind. Not that I would pop anyway. Senpai, do you want to get married? Why are you asking? It's just a thought that I, it's just a thought. I thought things would be different for me now, you know? I moved to the boonies when I was second year in junior high because of your family's work. No, my mom is into organic stuff and spirituality. She's quite the personality, to say the least. Oh, gotcha. I met two girls there, um, about seven years younger than me. So, Mabara, I think, is a, if this is the first year, she has to be around 15 going into 16, depending on how the thing works there for the, the TNT system and stuff. So she's at least roughly around like in her early 20s, at the very least. The one called Nobara really took to me. I'm an only child, so to me, she was just too cute. I'll admit it, I might have put on a bit of an act trying to impress them. I even made black tea for them, for first graders. Oh, that's cute. But I didn't exchange contact information, I guess. I guess I was afraid of slowly losing contact with them. You should have seen the tears when we said goodbye. It's just, I bet they'd be so disappointed seeing what a boring person I am now. That hurts. Because Novara to her, bro, this was the coolest person that she knew. And because of hers was the reason why she changed, became more refined, more of a better woman and stuff, you know, in her life. But then to see now what's become a Siori, you know, her, how she was treated back home and then how it, Basically affected her for the rest of her life, and now in her early twenties, yeah, she's in, she's a pretty much a, a teacher, right? But she's not keeping up the image, basically that Novara saw of her, and then, oh man, that's that's crazy. I hope Novara's doing well. I wonder what she's up to these days. She's still holding her fingers, bro. I, I swear to God, Mahito, I will jump in the flipping manga. I ain't gonna wait five days. If something happens to Nobara and she gets her TV debut on the Friday and something bad happens to her now or on that chapter, I swear to you, I will go Rohan Kishibe on you, bro. I am I am not kidding now. Don't play with me on Best Girl, bro. Everyone in that village is crazy. Of course, that's not true. But crazy people tend to be loud. So it seems as if they were elsewhere or if they're everywhere. They easily step on other people's lives. And you just see her like in this empty room and stuff, almost like she's at like still like therapy or something. Because normally this is what, what it would be. That kind of like setup and everything. That's like something if you're at like uh, mental therapy and everything. Or so I thought. Please, for the love of God. Okay, get don't freaking do this. Don't do this. Don't, don't. If I turn this page, I swear to God, if something bad happens, I'm going to be sick. I'm going to be sick to my stomach. Please don't do something stupid. Let me 
you see Fumi right there. Sorry, Fumi. Looks like I can't keep our promise. No, please, my love of God, Gege, don't do this. Don't do this. No, 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 Itadori, tell everyone. I swear to God. I swear to God. Please, Giga, don't do this. We have a chapter in five days. There better not be anything bad happening to her, bro. I'm sick. It all oh, it better just be an eye. It better be look. I I see the marking. I see an eye popping out. That better be all that she lost, bro. That better be all she lost. I see right there the reaction in her face and everything. She didn't go turn into one of the the, the freaking thing that Junpei turned into. But she lost an eye, clear as day. If she's dead, I swear to God, bro, I will go Rohan Kishibe in this manga. And I'm putting my Hito in a blender. Forget the poster, you don't get that treatment. You're going in the blender, bro. Oh my God, why would you do that, man? You took Nanamine already away. Which was already tough enough to accept. Not, you're not taking Nobara, bro. Giga, you have to stop this, bro. Thank God we were chopped in five days. I'm no, no. I, look, full denial, full denial, full denial. I'm in full denial until I see the words confirm that that's the end game for her. Because I refuse to believe that they are gonna get rid of best girl like that. No flipping way. No flipping way. No, I refuse it. Refuse it. Deny it. Deny it. Deny it. Lose an eye? Uh, you know what? She's still hotter than the majority of female characters in Jump. Put it like that way. And she's still better than them. Even in terms of looks, give her one eye. She's still better. That's all. Look, if it's an eye she lost, I'm perfectly fine with that. But you're not killing her off, bro. Because let's look. If her head was completely gone, different story. She's been, and it's like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to have to turn off everything, bro, and just go into silence. But no. Nah. I'll gladly accept if it's only an eye that she loses. And then if that's what she has to deal with for the rest of the series, I accept it. Because listen, what people with the eye patch are goaded. All right? Big boss, certain individual in trails. You already know. But Yuji, I swear, bro, the look on your face right now, you better go. F I don't care if Sukuna takes over now. You better annihilate Mahito. He has to die. Right now, I don't care what happens to the city, he has to die. Simple as that. I need Friday, man. You have no clue. I need Friday so flipping bad. Because you can see, it's clearly part of the face that got taken. Because if she died... It's either she gets turned into the curse or her head gets blown off. And clear as day, you can see she had her eye pretty much taken out. The thing, the, the thing is like literally right there chilling up in the sky and stuff. Or in the, in the air. But nah, bro. We have, we have, we have Shoko that's literally there. Shoko can literally try and repatch that thing. Or, or some, something, man. This is Jujutsu Sorcerers, bro. They can, they can figure something out. All right, they can they can figure something out. I'm in full denial mode. I I I don't care. You can tell me what you want to say and everything about Hito and how his abilities work and all that. I refuse to believe Gage is gonna get rid of Obara like this. There's no flipping way. Nanami was already tough to accept. You're not getting rid of Obara. That's wild. Refuse to believe it, man. I'm denying that. 
But let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I can't, I'm not even going to read this chapter because I need to see what's going to happen on Friday and how this is all going to pan out. Because I, I'm not accepting right now that she's going out like this. No flipping way. No flipping way. I, I refuse to believe that. Lose an eye, gladly you accept it. As long as it means that you she's going to be the one to put my heat on the dirt. And no chance. Like your soul's going to be freaking eradicated right here and now. Uh, if that's what it means and she loses an eye, gladly accept it. She goes, everyone got to die. Straight up. I don't care. Ghetto, got to be put on the cross. Mahito, 20 feet down. I'm not talking six. 20 feet down. We're throwing his ass in the equator. That's how I got to be. But again, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe, all the good stuff, man. I need to process this because, yo, I... I'm out. I'm out. Going crazy, yeah, we going crazy. I'm with the T, yeah, yeah, we